This is Dave Baker with the November 2022 Flash Report from Laird Norton Wealth Management. Uh, the stock market is often compared to a roller coaster, but that comparison is particularly apt in the last couple of months. This month, it was an investor's favor as hopes that the Fed would slow down the pace of interest rate hikes materialized somewhat and the U.S. economy returned to expansion, at least for a little while. That said, in U.S. equities, we saw a tremendous bounce back and large cap stocks posted their second strongest return of the year uh, with some easing of the extreme bearishness we've seen and some resilient economic data additional factors. Overseas, performance was weaker, uh, and while the strength of the dollar seemed to be less of an issue this month generally, uh, for developed markets it uh, was more of an issue of a weaker yen as the Bank of Japan has lagged other economies in raising interest rates. Uh, at the same time, uh, we've seen uh, the uh, return of COVID in China and Brazil struggling with an uncertain political situation. All, uh, all of that seemed to pull down EM somewhat. In fixed income, we saw the 10-year Treasury push through 4% and stay there, uh, which meant another tough month for core fixed income investments. Um, at the same time, high-yield bonds performed well, owing to their shorter duration, their larger coupons, and frankly, that uh, the, the defaults aren't expected to increase all that much in the quarters ahead. Real assets were generally positive um, based on the you know, sentiment of an improving economic environment. Um, one nuance to that point is the difference between uh, REITs in the public market and private real estate, which have a huge disconnect, as REITs are down substantially on a year-to-day basis and private markets are substantially positive. With most risk assets in, in negative territory and, and public REITs maybe more of an indicator, a leading indicator of, of the real estate markets, it wouldn't be a surprise to see some of those private uh, market investments cool off in the quarters uh, up ahead. In alts, uh, hedge funds basically uh, were treading water um, still in that space and private capital in general. Our managers are seeing opportunities that they haven't seen in quite, uh, quite a while, so it might be an opportune time to establish a strategic position there. Uh, looking forward, the positive sentiment that uh, was built up on the Fed evaporated in the first couple of days of the month um, as Jerome Powell suggested that interest rate hikes have a ways to go. Still, he did leave the door open that the Fed would be considering the cumulative effects of what they've done so far in, um, in uh, the pace of interest rates as we go forward. Uh, something a, a bit less discussed is how the uh, Fed policy has driven the U.S. dollar to all-time highs, um, depending on the measure. If the Fed continues with this aggressive pace, outpacing other economies and in interest rate hikes, it will continue to fuel the dollar, which is going to have a, a broad array of impacts. Uh, from an economic standpoint, uh, the growth that was driven by net exports in, in the last release is likely to be negatively impacted. And uh, as an investor in foreign markets, translating back to U.S. dollars, that's likely to be a headwind as well. In any case, uh, in the past, when the dollar has gotten close uh, up, up to this level, it hasn't stayed there very long, and uh, uh, perhaps that will be a bearing this round as well. With all the mar market volatility, um, uh, or the roller coaster ride as I referenced, it's reasonable to want to make dramatic portfolio adjustments. However, October was actually a perfect example of how big negative returns tend to cluster around big positive returns and how if you uh, duck out of the market at the wrong time, you can materially impact uh, your portfolio's ability to compound uh, wealth over the long term. In terms of what we're doing in portfolios, uh, we've talked about tax, tax loss harvesting and rebalancing ad nauseum. So I'll add that our managers are re-underwriting uh, their holdings into their highest conviction positions and those that they think are well suited for an extended inflationary environment. Well, at the portfolio level, uh, we're evaluating new opportunities in credit, um, investments in improving the supply chain, and even activating strategic cash posi positions to lock in uh, short-term yields that may not be there for long. Uh, anyhow, that is all I have for this month. Thanks for listening and see you next time.